Okay, um, so here we go. The question asks us, the question asks us to find the vertex, the focus, the axis of symmetry, directrix, and graph of this equation right here. So what we need to do is identify A, we need to identify H, K, and we need to uh, identify directrix and all that. We're going to graph it right over here. So what is A? That would be my question. What is A? Well, A we can see right here is 1 eighth. So if we wanted to write this in the regular A times X minus H squared plus K, we would write it like this. Okay? We would write it like Y equals 1 eighth times x minus 0 squared plus 3, like that. And we could easily see that right here, this is the a, this is the a, this is going to be the h, and then this is the k right there. So you can, you can see that. I just kind of rewrote it in that format, okay? But this right here is not h, okay? So don't think that h is negative 3 or something like that, and that is a plus. So a is 1 8th h is 0, and k is plus 3. So we know that our vertex, the first question it asks for is our vertex, and we know our vertex is hk, so then the vertex is 0, 3. So that's what I'm going to put here, 0, 3. The focus is going to be found using a equals 1 over 4c. C is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And in this case, since A is positive, we know that it opens upward. So we're going to use 1 over 4C. So A equals 1 over 4C. So here's A, and that's the same thing as 1 over 4C. Uh, so I'm going to find C now. Okay, And I can clearly see, if I just take the reciprocal of both of these, and flip it over to 8 over 1 equals 4c over 1 like that. You can totally do that, and you can see 8 equals 4c. Well, then that means c equals 2. Okay, so if c equals 2 and the vertex is right here at 0, 3, then that means it opens upward. That means our focus is right here. It goes up 2 from the vertex. Okay? So here's the focus, here's the vertex, so the vertex, uh, if we wanted to label it again, it would be 0, 3, and that's going to kind of maybe go through that, but that's okay. Focus is going to be 0, 5, okay, because we added the, that 2 uh, from the distance, the distance from the vertex. So let's answer that question up here, 0, 5. The axis of symmetry goes right through. It does not shift left or right. So the axis of symmetry is going to be an x equals graph. It goes right through the y axis. So x equals 0 is our axis of symmetry. Okay, it goes right down through here. Our directrix is going to be the same distance from the vertex to the focus uh, Sorry, the same distance that the focus is from the vertex, except in the other direction. So the directrix is going to be right there at uh, y equals 1. Okay, so it goes basically the same distance. Okay, so our directrix is right about here if I wanted to get a straight line. And I like to do a dotted line, dashed line for the directrix, and that's going to be y equals 1. That's our directrix. And then we just graph this thing, okay? Um, it has been compressed by a factor of 1 8th, so it's going to be a wider graph. And if you want, you can you always use a t-chart when you're graphing, but I, I'm not requiring that here so if you want get, to get it really exact. But it's going to be compressed for sure. Um, so I would think it probably going to look something close to this. And since it's mirrored the other way, it kind of looks a little bit like this, okay? And that's our graph. I've uh, 
done all five things. I've identified the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, and I have graphed it. So I am done.